Welcome to Trading the Market. In today's video, we'll be looking at tipping groups. Not just any tipping groups, but paid for tipping groups. Many groups like to use Telegram as the platform for sharing their tips and allowing them to track and update members. It also allows them to send tips out in a large group of people with a mute function. This would then stop any member interaction, so members can't make public comments and members can't talk to each other. This North Korea style tipping group is most popular due to its ability to control the narrative and work up excuses to members on why the tips are good but that the bench jockey or the poor ride cause you to lose money, to no fault of their own. If you're not familiar with Telegram, it's the ability for groups and users to have bots. These are mostly used for saving time or completing automated tasks, but can also be used against groups, like removing visibility of individual members. This would leave you in a group and hidden from the admins. Links to the groups appear to be randomly generated and would be impossible to figure out. Well, it would be without a bit of software coded in Python that allows you to create a new link to the group as a one-time only access. Now if you're able to access these links and then send the required bot to an admin to open an email which would then self install an update on the telegram to use the bot to hide yourself as a member of the groups to the admin is in then you would have successfully added yourself to a group to which you remain hidden for your time in the group. Now no one would admit to doing this to perfect strangers and would be less likely to admit it on YouTube. So in no way, shape or form will I be explaining how I became to have access to this group. Now if you wanted to join this group, you would have to be a paid member. The tipping group we're looking at has two groups. A UK horse racing group, which would set you back £50 a month with a £10 admin fee, so £60 a month. They promise to post tips each day and provide analysis on horses, so you can bet with confidence. The second group is an international group that will give you horses from outside the UK, and I believe there are some US sports in there also. Now this group costs £40 to join with a £10 admin fee, so £50. If you wanted to join both of these, you would have to lay out £110. Now, as we're only going to be following the tips for a week, it's only fair that we divide the fee by four. For the purpose of this video, we will call the weekly fee £27.50, which does not seem too bad, as long as we make this money back and then some. After all, the only reason you would join is to make profit. Now let's take a look at the groups. The first UK horse group at the time of recording, you can see it has 182 members. As I am hidden from the list, I'm not counted in that. So let's say they have four admins for the group, at a guess. Then this would be £60 times 178, which would make a monthly income of £10,680 on just the UK group alone. The international group has 68 members, and at £50 a time, less the four admins we think they may have, this would add up to 3,200, making a total income of 13,880 pounds. That's a tidy sum for a group of people to earn tax free. I am taking an impartial view to these two groups and we'll see how the week plays out. I gained access yesterday and did so when the least amount of members were online. This allowed me to slip into the background. As I'm not paying for the group, I won't be making money from it. I will be placing bets in line with what they advise only to keep track of the profit and loss, as it's easy to do when they post tricksy bets and so on. Any money that I do make will be given to charity. As I gained access to the group, there is a pinned message which explains how much money to put on each horse. This is done using a point based system, which is very smart. This will allow you to limit your losses. They seem to use one pound stake to show one point. So I'll be using 10 pound a point, which would mean I have a bank of a thousand pound the pin message in the international group is access to a P&L sheet and a horse tracker. I'll be using the same bank and points for the group. Now I have already received today's tips for Sunday the 24th of the 10th 2021. They have advised a mixture of two bets. So the first one is a place bet double. 14.45 at Wincanton, Wandering Star and 15.20 at Wincanton, Shinobi. The advice bet is for both of these horses to be placed. Wandering Star is priced at nine decimal nine for the win and 4.0 for two places. Shinobi is priced at 8.5 and 2.25 for four places. As a double, Sky Better is offering me decimal nine. Now they have advised one point double and Sky Better are offering me decimal nine, so that would be 90 pounds back with 80 being profit. 
The second bet is for a Trixie. There are three horses, all at entry, and the favourite horses in each race. So the 225 is Black Ops, priced at 2.88. Then the three o'clock race, they have selected All Mankind at 3.25. And the last horse is in the 10 past four race. They have selected Pondering Poet at 3.25. It's half a point Trixie, which means I'll be placing four times five pound for a total stake of 20 pound with a potential return of 317 pound 40. They've added voice notes to the group explaining why they picked each horse and why they are leaving others out. Morning all, uh, so we've got a few bets today and there's quite a few tracker horses running as well. Um, so I think I'll probably try to cover everything, but we'll start with the Trixie, um, which kicks off in the 225 at Aintree. Um, and the horse we're on here is Black Op. This is a veteran's handicap, handicap chase. Now, Tom George does really well in these kind of races when you, um, look at the record of his 10 year olds who have previously run in graded grade one company um their record reads 11 runs six wins one place and obviously black op qualifies from that he's he's not been in great form but this is a massive drop in class for him now there's nothing left to do but wait for the day's racing to see how we do i will update you if we get any more or have any international tips I logged back onto my account just before the first horse was due to go off at 14.25. I can see that Wandering Star has been voided in the double due to it being a non-runner. Can't be helped, but it's now a single bet at 2.25. So my one point bet is now due to return me a 1.25 point profit if the second horse places. Black Ops is the first horse to run. Not one I would have picked, but we're sticking with the tips to see what our profit would be. Now Black Ops ran second most of the way down, it had a bad jump and landed flat footed which lost some ground and lost her confidence in the jumping after that. The horse had a chance but it struggled over the fences after it became tired and had nothing left to give at the end. I'll let you know if I get a message from the tippers. Just as I finished recording the roundup, I got a message. I was hoping it would be an insight into what happened. No, nope, it was a picture of another horse. Not a new one but a horse that was already included in a Trixie bet, all mankind. It seems after the loss of the last horse, we're doubling down. It's a one point bet at £10 at 3.25, so that would be £22.50 profit if it wins. I think it's time to start the spreadsheet to keep track. All Mankind wins and it looks like the double down worked for them. That's £22.50 profit off that race. Let's see where we end up on the day. Still nothing from the international group, but another horse about to run on the double with the non-runner. So now a play single with four places. Shinobi led for the entire race and in the last three furlongs faded off to almost last. That's a loss of one point which is £10. What I can note is when the horse does not place or win, nothing is said. I'll continue to monitor this. It would be nice to be offered some sort of roundup. If I wasn't able to watch the race, I would have no knowledge of what had gone on. As I suspect most people in this group would have a day job, they might not get to see the races. It's 8 minutes past 4 and Poundy Poet's about to run in what is the last race of the day, for UK horses anyway. Poundy Poet was backed into the favourite just as the race was off. Poundy Poet finished second behind a 5 to 1 horse but a loss of about 3 lengths resulting in no money back off the Trixie bet. Very soon after I was sent a message in the group explaining the horse fluffed the last fence but I'll quickly to admit they don't think it matters. Currently, £10.50 down for the UK horse racing and £35 down on the week when you add in the group fee. Let's hope the USA horses bring in some profit. Just received the message at half four, profit being down on the day and there's no more bets. Oddly the day's worth of tips have been deleted, very strange. Been sent my first US horse, the Beast, race two, Gulf Street. One point bet at 2.5 so that's £10 with potential profit of 15 I wasn't expecting to get the tip in the UK horse group, maybe they're trying to help on the day's profit. You would be annoyed if you paid the extra for the US horses and they were given for free. What a poor show that race was, including the beast finishing second, £10 down, the day so far is a £17.50 loss. Let's see what's next. Just as I was settling in for the night, I was hit by four separate US horse bets at once, a total outlay of £55, a couple of forecasts and an each way single and a single. Advice bets are on screen, let's hope to recoup some money. Yet another single at two points and a combination forecast. This will be our last bet of the night. 
that they promised unless the double lands. Sadly, it didn't land. UK horse racing, I'm 0.75 points down, which is £7.50, and 5.5 points down on the US horse racing, making a total loss for the day of £62.50. Tomorrow is a new day, and I always advise against tipping groups, and this is why. But they say Rome wasn't built in a day, although that was the builder's original estimate. Monday. Let's hope to a better start for the day and maybe some profit back off the US tipping group. All I have to do is wait for the tips to be sent out, so let's fast forward my day. 10.37, the tips are in, and it seems we have a few to be going out. The first one of the day is the 2.30 uh, on Animore at 15 to 8. This hasn't been advised as a single bet, but seems to be part of a Trixie bet. The second tip is for the 4 o'clock at Leicester, Dashing Roger at 5 to 2. This is a 1 point tip for the win. They list a couple of other horses that could be a risk, but the bet is placed on Dashing Roger. Next bet is in the 35 minutes past 4 at Leicester with the horse Ale Pits Maggie, with a price also of 5 to 2 with another 1 point win bet. They've also recommended a side bet on these three horses as a one point Trixie, so the chance of a double boom. Last horse in this three mile message is the 1450 at Leicester, another one point win bet on Atomic Knives at 10 to 3. Now all my bets are placed for the day and only using four points. There is nothing to do but put the kettle on and wait for the races. 2.30, now it was a close race but any more loses by half a length. As this was a win Trixie, this horse won't be adding to our profit for the day. Not long now to the next race. 2.50, boom, Atomic Knives wins by half a length. That gives me some money back. I made a total of 3.33 points back. So a nice little £33 profit, well £33.30. This wasn't part of the Trixie, but we might be on a roll. 4 o'clock, Dashing Roger is a non-runner, turning this into a win double. 4.35, A up it's Maggie, just won, by a nose, thank god. Nice little bit of profit back on that, 2.5 points to add to today's profit, giving me a total profit for the day of £48.30. Bring on the USA horses. A good evening on them and I could be in profit for the first time this week. 5.37 The tip came in at 5.18 but I was looking at some trading working on something for this video coming up. I'll have to be quick as the race is off at 5.55. Now we have a win bet on She's a Trip at 10 to 3 at Philadelphia for a 1 point win. And then at 10 past 6 at Finger Lakes we have a stop the spread at 5 to 1 for half a point each way. This is an outlay of 2 points. They say racing isn't great tonight, which doesn't fill me with much confidence. 5.55, cheese a trip, comes in third, so nothing back. At 10 past 6, stop the spread wins for £20 profit back, which will cover the £10 I lost on cheese a trip, so £10 profit so far. Now I know what you're thinking, if he keeps going on at this rate, this video will end up being 5 hours long. And Ain't nobody got time for that! So I'll sum up each day in the UK and the USA horses with a graph at the end showing what I made or for each day or a spreadsheet. So Tuesday, the end ended up being a run of 8 tips on last night's USA horses. Out of the 8 bets, 5 of them returned nothing and the other 3 returned a profit of £58.80. When you take away the 5 that lost, 3 at 1 point, 1 at 1.5 one points and 1 at half point, we ended USA racing for the day with a profit of £8.80. This gave us a total profit on the day of a very respectable £57.10. Add that to the loss from yesterday and we're running at a loss of £5.40 from stakes of £245. Let's hope for a better day's worth of racing today. Tips for the UK horses, we have a double win bet at Bangor for one point, which does not land and then a single point at the 15.22 race at Bangor, which again doesn't land. Now the last UK race for the day is a 7 to 1 each way bet at Catterick, which places and gives us a £2 profit on the race, leaving us £18 down for the UK horses for the day. US horses are in, 4 bets, all at a point each. I didn't watch any of the races as I was working on something for the end of the video. I logged back into my Bet365 account to see none of them won, and I'm £40 down for the US horses for the evening. I'll be showing all the races and the names of the horses at the end on a spreadsheet. But today's roundup would be state £70 across both USA and UK horses with a total loss for the day being £58. 
This takes us as a loss for the week to £63.40. Even with a good day we have on Monday, it shows that you can lose it very quickly. Wednesday. Not much advice in the UK horses today, and each way which gives me money back, and then a Trixie which I make nothing from, so just £10 down on the UK horses. And the international is five races and five losses. Four times one point bet with a single 1.5 bet, results in a loss of £55. Combined with the UK horses, that's £65 down on the day, but more worryingly, I'm now £128.40 down on the week. There was a message sent out to say the person who appeared to be Jay was now running things as Josh had been banished until the end of the month and hopefully they could put some points on the board, worryingly. Let's see what Thursday brings. Thursday. Jam packed day of racing today with a total of 6 UK horses, but sadly only in each way lands bringing a profit of £1 on that race, but then the Thursday's UK racing ends in a loss of £44. USA Group was tipped with 5 bets and again not a single one landed totaling a loss of £65. That's £109 on the day. Wow, what are these guys doing? Now this was going to run for a total of 7 days and we are 5 days in and I've already lost £237.40. Wow. I won't be carrying this on for another 2 days, this is ridiculous. When you add in the cost of the group and you would have to scale it down to 5 days as I followed these tips and that would be a loss of £255.73. I would have been better picking horses based on the colours that jockeys are wearing and then following this information. I'm going to best to spend my time and work on something to help the people in this group. <laughs> 24 hours later. Rather than spending the day losing on these tips from this group, I spent my time sending a message to each member I could confirm had nothing to do with the group. I didn't want to blow my cover by messaging an admin or a friend of the admin. This resulted in a drop of membership of 68 people. I've seen that they have decided to rebrand from off the bridle to move to a new service. Never looks good when you have to rebrand, it's normally the work of a cowboy builder. Let's take a look at the stats from the whole week. State, £510. Winning bets, £272.60. Losing a total of £237.40. If I had to pay to be in the group, I would have lost £255.73. I started this to take a more in-depth look into tipping groups. I've made my feelings well known on them, but yet people still come to me asking me to see if it's worth it. This video is just that. The only people getting richer from this are them. This is not to say that all groups are the same and they will all lose you money, but if you find one that doesn't, comment on this video and I'll check it out. I lost this money so you didn't have to. Hopefully, if this just stops one person from joining and saving themselves hundreds of pounds, and it's been worth it. The only advantage I took from this tipping group was the trading element. When you advise 180 odd people to all put money on at the same time, the price on the market drops as it gets backed. Towards the end of the five days, I started backing horses as soon as the tip was sent across and traded out for a profit as the market moved in the same direction. There is no quick solution for making money on gambling or trading. My advice if you want to make money is pick a sport pick one sport i.e. horse racing then pick an element of the of that game or that race i.e. flats or jumps then once you pick that choose a distance range learn everything you can about the horses that fit into that category and have a look at our video on how to pick a race horse winner learn your craft there is no substitute for learning and experience anytime it seems too good to be true it probably is if these people could pick winning race horses then why would they need your money to do this? Surely their time would be better spent back in their own tips and making money. The same could be asked for trading the market. Why spend our time and money making videos to no advantage to ourselves? Well, some people are just nice. And on that note, all I ask in return is click that subscribe button. We have a brand new football trading strategy with James and we wouldn't want you to miss out. Thanks for watching this video and until next time, happy trading.